All right, in the bottom, playing as the red Epsilon HQ, we have Gyarscore presently leading the series. In the top section of the map, playing as the blue Latin Confederation, it is Abdo. Abdo has managed to stay in the game just a little bit longer, but we're still on match point here. For Yarscore. As it is 3-2 for Yarscore, indeed. So, Yasko could still absolutely destroy Abdo's career and fulfill the prophecy that uh, no Mental Omega tournament winner has ever repeated their victory. Well, So, the odds are against Abdo. Welcome to the tournament, Bo, everyone. This is a map where everyone knows that the Derricks like to exchange their colors every so often. I'm disappointed you didn't introduce it as Toilet Bowl like you did before in the lobby. Look, we have manners here. Do you? Really? Yeah. For the stream, yes. Personally, never. That dog, <laughs> al that dog almost got the engineer of Yarskor getting into the all their rig. Almost. Ah, uh, but almost is not it did, and thus the engineer takes over and it switches to a red color. Abdo, in the meantime, takes the blue oil deck on the right without much resistance, I think. As it is most, most players just attempting to scout around the map. Tapas, you know your favorite gif of the police chase? Yep, I know. It's there. I see it on the map. I haven't and realized this yet. I love it. You just... Yeah, I know. It's there. It's there. It's actually quite a few maps and I bloody love it. It's yeah. Brilliant. What's this? Oh, the engineer just got picked up by our score. Oh, yeah. I heard an engineer die as well. I was too busy admiring the beauty of the police chase screen. Second refinery coming up for Yard score as well. Both of the miners are currently on a gem field. Same situation for Abdo. Abdo mm -hmm. also placed a very special sentry gun pointing away from the map. I'm not sure quite what that sentry gun is doing. I think it's just there to gun down spooks. Could be, could be. Yeah, Additional engineer is coming up, Oops. trying to recapture the Derrick. It looks like Abdo is going to get away with that as well, but Yasko does respond, moving the initiates over. Usually we see superior numbers oh. of conscripts, but this time we see a lot of initiates. I don't think Yarskull is particularly wanting to play the game, and with a double uh, refinery gem star, he can spam initiates all he bloody wants. That is true. That is Abdo is being a lot more conservative with his money, though. The, diff the cash difference is about 2,000, relatively speaking, with Yarskull on 3,500 mm -hmm. and Abdo on 5,000. It also seems that uh, Yasko is not planning to go into any recapture shenanigans. He's going towards the uh, spooks, he's going for the factory. Mm -hmm. He wants to be done with the early game. Yeah, we're seeing, seeing ghost miners in the war factory queue, which is fairly standard, of course. Mm -hmm. Nothing too special about that, and I believe it's the same for Abdo. Oh no, Jaguar tanks come out of the war factory for Abdo. We've got more on the way. Could we see the similar all-in that we saw in the Dust Garden, but this time from Abdo? I think we very much could, but at least this time, Epsilon HQ are a lot better place to fight that than Phone are. Also, remember, that Yashko stuff's a lot less Yashko did manage to pick up that engineer that was looking around there, Derek. Ah, there we go then, that's nice. So that'll be secure for the next couple of minutes. Here comes the Jaguar tanks. There's no way Yasko didn't hear that Jaguar tank crush the chain link fence. So the massive conscripts move through the center. There is an Oppos tank as a response. Okay. Second refinery. Actually, third Small refinery now deployed. As well. Looks like Abdo just got one Jaguar tank and immediately switched over to uh, War Miners. I think the multi queue Jaguars was a little bit was a mistake, so he's cancelled that. Two but we additional engineers. Third Opus. From who? For, oh, yeah. For Abdo. He's he really wants that oil, Derek, doesn't he? Yeah. He he truly is desperate. He's channeling his inner American. Yes. Anyway, third Opus tank gets loaded. We're back to Ghost Miner production for Yarskull. Miner count is four versus five miners right now. Um, in Abdo's favor, by the way. Not, not a big surprise, in all honesty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, after that left oil deck finally changes hands and they gets a blue color of paint. That took you long enough. Well, both players are looking to destroy civilian structures, I think. 
I do believe oh dear, excuse me. I do believe that the early game is some some, some was stabilized. There's an engine trying to recapture the Derek because why? I mean, it's going to recapture. It. There's nothing there to defend it. Yeah, but there's another yeah, there's engineer. Of, engineer. There's another engineer of Abdo just looking nearby trying to recapture just the lying capture. Lying in wait, yeah. Yeah. But I predicted you. I outsmarted you. Or outsmarting by outcapturing your royal Derek. Oh, Dave, the terror drone has entered the field. Although I'm not sure if there is. Uh, well, you can infect epsilon miners, but I don't think it's going to work here. Oh, there's secondary nah, Dave on the really. left side of the map, right next to refineries. Oh, I was talking about the left Dave. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. I was about. talking about the right one. I didn't realize there was one on the right. Oh, yeah, I hear him. There we oh, go. Yeah, I see him too. That's infected. That's a one infection as well. Yeah. You're going to want to quarantine that ghost miner. I see no stinger on in the queue yet. Yeah, Yarskor doesn't know. Pandora Hub is online. Now, Yarsko is probably trying to crawl towards the right corner of the map. Oh, okay, yep. Stinger and Engineer on the way for Yarsko. He knows. Secondary factory for Abdo. He's also crawling toward his uh, furthest ore field. Oh, 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 oh. Dave the second is prawling the right-hand side. Doesn't get quite get the Engineer kill, though. He's instead going to infect an Opus tank, I think. Yep. Oh, he didn't oh, actually save the miner. Oh, ghost miner goes down. Oh, that is unfortunate. Aerodome? Aerodrome? Okay. That's an interesting call. Gonna see Dibbuk attackers in that case. I hear more Terradrone shenanigans. Well, there, there's no anti-air beside the flak troopers that have been produced right now. Radar's come yeah. online for Abdo, who sold his refinery. He does not need that area anymore. Nope, but that is a very exposed radar. The, the refinery set off, that means he doesn't intend to quite base crawl down there either. With such exposed radar dome, it just asks for one thing. Driller engineer? Infiltration. Well, that too. Oh, that could be spicy. We'll see if that will happen soon. Anyway, intense tank and infantry movements coming up. Dibbuk attacker reveals itself, moves over to try and take out one of the Jaguar tanks, and I think it'll have free reign on that. Yeah, he's gonna take. He's gonna take yep, this one. Yep, there we go. It does get shot at in return to half HP, but it does kill the Jaguar tank. Another Dibbuk attacker think this moves one up, but survive. I don't think it'll be able to survive. No. Or no, it might, considering the flag troopers are in. Yep, no, this one gets off even more scot free. Sole initiate in that garrison going to town, but it's He's not a it's not really a lot. Well, now there are more of them over here. Nuclear mm -hmm. reactor is now deployed for Abdo. He's possibly going for the tier three access right now. Just watching the billboard. Need oh, there's there's a bomb buggy. Oh, hello. Where 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 is Pedro? Where is Pedro? Pedro just uh, suicide oh, himself Pedro onto exploded. the old refinery. Well, that's a bit uh, of a waste. Well, yeah, but there was a group of tanks actually lurking around, so I don't think he would be able to There's do anything. There's also an adept as well. Anyway, the Dibbuk attackers are back up. They pick up another Jaguar tank. They could actually the go for the miners. The Proud from more vehicles. They could, but they're going to go for another Jaguar instead. Oh, After that prepared drone would be here. a really good target. Yep, he And he it. goes for it. These a Dibbuk attackers here slowly here collecting also... value. Half track on the field, but they're out of ammunition now. Well, they do actually get some. He did actually get some value out of that. Radar Spire is out for Yarskor. Tier 3 is out. We got okay. a driller oh, yep. with engineers, apparently. Okay. Uh, still more engineers in the production queue. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's, oh, no. A uh, color in the production line, though. Not another driller. Mm hmm. Rod now in the build queue. I am baffled by the. Th power plant placement. I think it's a, just to secure the frontal section of the map, but I, I think it's a bit too exposed. What power placement? You mean the bioreactor up at the top, at the front? Yeah, yeah. Although yeah, it, it probably. seems relatively safe in between all the forces. For now, for now. Dibbuk attackers leave the aerodrome once again, looking for prey. I do believe that Abdo, Abdo is aware of the drillers because there are sensor towers are appearing. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, he probably predicted it at this point because Yasko, every time they've played Epsilon, has gone for a driller every time. Well, Divok attackers were unable to finish off the miner. Mm -hmm. 
There is an invader is actually floating up. menacingly towards the section of the map. A flak cannon is being deployed to counter that, and possible further attacks from. Yeah, well, there are flak troopers that just immediately shoot down the UFO. Ran is out on the Akala field. Still. Yep, Ran. I expect Akala to follow shortly. Battle lap is out, and there's a driller in Abdo's base. Where in Abdo's base? Behind oh, yep, the refinery. It. It goes for the refinery pickup instead, okay. It sells I, it off. I believe it will be far better choice if he actually went for the or for the war factory. Yeah, it probably would be. The tier three was looking pretty exposed as well. It could have he also, been an easy catch. He for also that. had the Irkala almost ready. Oh yeah, that would have been funny, but it would have been very impractical considering there's a flat cannon right there. Yeah. But it would was... have been insanely funny. But alas, we're switching to Baratina production now. Catastrophe is not required, and against Epsilon, not really encouraged either. Especially considering that the Adepts can easily just sway the tide of the battle. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I know why the Genomine is going down. It looks like Abdo, again on his crusade to deny oil Derek income to Yarskor, picks up another oil Derek on the far left. Well, that has see that. And Yarskor, in the meanwhile, captured both of the Dereks in the middle. Okay, so making up for the Derek loss income. Yep. Continuous Opus production. I mean, that may, I mean, that makes sense. You don't really need the Colossi bulk because there aren't that many Desolators. There's only Baratinos. That is true. And half tracks. So the expense of Colossi, especially when Yarskul is quite far behind on economy. Abdo's actually got about three times more cash than Yarskor. Yarskor on 6k, Abdo on about 18k. Actually, 17, 16, eh, yeah, floating around that, but whatever, close enough. Both of them are mining similar ore fields, however. Oh, there's more Terra Drones than Ghost Miners for Yarskor, but he doesn't know about that yet. Oh no! They're fresh and fit. Oh, another Royal Derek being shot up. There could be some collateral damage. That's the engineer. <laughs> Look. That's the engineer, but he's gonna get gunned down. Well, he Abdo managed to ca recapture the second Derek. Yeah, Ran shows up. There's not really a lot of ways that uh, Abdo can challenge this Akala Ran combo. Quite, he's gonna have to poke it with long range and be bloody careful with his Baratinos. There's a problem, and it's called uh, oh. Yarskor is back on five miners. Oh no, not like this. The oh, one of the Terradrones starts eating away at the Yeah, the Terradrones are starting to eat the jets. We have Actually a lot of infiltration of well. units on the field. Yep, as they get loaded into my... Yep, there we go. Yasko finally notices the Terradrone. Anyway, back to the main center stage of the map and the, and the main armies. There's just a lot of posturing right now, really. The driller, the drillers leave the base. Yep, one of them As left. Morales starts taking shots at Ron, and Ron just stands there like an absolute lemon. Goes down to Bertino fire. So already, Ab Yaskol's lost one of his major force amplifiers, and Morales can just go to town. But the half tracks are caught off guard, and are picked up immediately. There might not be enough AA around Morales. Morales might actually be in serious danger. Morales, in fact, realizes this and retreats. The flag troopers come up, though. This could be a dangerous spot for the Akala. Nah, he's gonna be fine. Oh, yeah, that's, that's fine. So there's a small assault coming up on the Yasko's base. There's a flame tower and group of the mortar ambush trying to take out yeah, the Yeah, that's being dealt with by a Colossi and yeah. several archers. Interesting choice. We see secondary... Aerodome. Probably for Dipper Cavolvers, I'll be honest. Uh, yeah, that would be actually a really good call, considering the number of conscripts on the field. All right, Morales gets picked off by the Akala uh, and the various The drillers are in that. the base. Uh-oh. Oh, this could be spicy. And Abdo knows about this. Yar Yarskor, wake up. Wake up. Abdo hasn't seen them, I think. Neither player Wait. has seen them. What the? Wake up, both of you. What is this? They're just barely outside of the sensor tower range. 
Oh, I've just seen them. I have to real realize this. That is a very costly <sighs> loss for Yarskar. That is an extremely costly loss for Yarskar, one that he didn't need. I don't know why he immersed both of them in the same spot. He could easily get veterancy from one driller and then sabotage the radar and the nuclear plant from the other side. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he did that. That was completely nonsensical. Well, I said nonsensical driller destinations. Uh, hello? Huh? Abdo just randomly killed off, a, is killing off a bunch of his own conscripts. Does he has, does he expect that he has some spice within his ranks? Might do. I'm not entirely sure what that display was, but a lot of people got gunned down as counter-revolutionaries. So, also, here's uh, another go. problem for Abdo. He has officially mined out his entire side of the map. So he has a gem field on the right. But uh, Yarskor is perfectly content to sit back in their base. Spamming ghost miners. Yarskor still has a little bit of ore left. By the way, we were right about the typical Volva call. It will be a very massive drop. That drop could actually decide the game. If it is very good. Very if it hits correctly, yeah. We also see catastrophes out Volvo. on the field. Dangerous call. Could fall prey to mind control, but Yasko's slowly going bankrupt. Well, we have another flame tower and the mortar quads coming up. Yeah, I'll be honest. I don't really see a way out of this one for, for Yasko. I think Abdo holds all the cars right now. This could be a problem. Oh no, the Teotro is going to pick up run! Oh no! Oh! oh close! In the nick of time! Damn, Realm's Terra Nova Beam is so powerful that it's able to convert even metal into a pair of swords. Alright, Abdo is now currently long distance mining on both of the fields on the left and right. Okay, I'm just playing this a little bit creepy, And he though. also constructed another MCV. Where is it? Oh yeah, so three has. It I is actually going to towards the left side of the uh, left side of the map. Yeah, that one's the longest distance of mine, so. Makes sense. The Yarskor just completely bottled up in their own base. Oh, couple. Oh, there's the curtain just in the nick of time as well. But I don't see a nuclear converter. So Are there no radiation? No. Are there? They're gonna go down the Arcala though. I think. Yeah, that could be. No, they. They're not actually focusing your color. Oh no, they're going for. Now they. Oh. Now they are. No, Ron's escaped. I think he's trying to dive on the air. What is Abdo's plan here? I am not certain at all. But this could be a very good moment to drop the entire payload of that mutation gas. And yeah, I think Yarskor is fully aware of that. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh boy. Dropping payload. That's good, but I don't think it's a game winning. It's definitely not, but that's still gonna cause a little bit of chaos within the ranks, Fab though. He lost two of the Diabook Evolvers in the process. Yeah, I don't think that was worth it remotely. Behind all of that, that couple of uh, Bratinos and Desolators coming up for to reinforce Abdo's left flank. Well, that's what Abdo needs, there's a lot of infantry here, but we're starting to see the heavy Col Colossi coming up. Warwick Run, is currently on the move to the right people. side of the map. I take it to mine the entire gem field. Not yet, most of it though. Bertino modes constantly switching. Okay, it seems that uh, Yaroskor has revealed his Diebook Evolvers. 
So he'll be ready for another drop, but I think our, his opponent is going to stop making tier 1 units. So their capability oh, will be we massive. Oh, shadows out on the field. Oh yeah, so it is. Oh it, yeah, and there's the war rig as well. It would be a very good okay, effort so to start sniping some of the miners. I ain't guard on the gem field, by the way, for Raptor on the left. Not surprising, it's actually quite common to see that one. A couple of tanks are left to the on the left side. Entire task force is moving towards the right side of the map yeah, to deal with that, that uh, war rig. Oh, not looking good for Yarskor. Yarskor just decides to sit back in, in their base. No, this is not. This is not good. Oh. Oh, it seems quite some fire. I think. There. I think Yarsko just got uh, veterancy. You reckon? Yeah, I just saw a driller. Oh, yeah. yeah, I see veteran infantry. Is it veteran infantry? No, it's not, I think. All of the forces are extremely paranoid now. Could provide the wiggle room that Yarskor's been looking for. That could be funny if those drills were actually empty. No, I saw there's still one infiltrator inside it. Okay. Anyway, Elite reserves are now activated. Seeing bomb buggies on the war factory queue now. Interesting choice. I ain't cutting bomb buggies into the base. The bomb buggies oh, are actually field. going towards the ore field. I think that's just a vehicle rally point, and if that's the case, well, that's just a waste of bomb buggy. Well, they deal a little bit of damage to those suppers tanks. They do, but it's not really relevant. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's the low power. That's the power sabotage from the other infiltrator. But it's, it's gonna not gonna die after the curtain. I would have gone for the um, iron curtain sabotage personally, but it's not gonna do well. Where? Oh well, we've got a minute and thirty minutes, thirty seconds for the Yarskor to take advantage of this, but uh, I don't think they can. It seems that uh, that Yarskor actually managed to infiltrate Abdo's refinery. Twice. Oh yeah, and he's also been able. Oh yeah, Yasko now is set on 18k. We've got two bomb buggies coming in through the south. Oh, oh no, dear, this be quite bad. Wait, he's going towards the airfields. Going for the airfields, yeah. Okay, he gets one war factory, and he's gonna get. Oh, juicy hit. Very juicy hits there from the bomb buggies. Also, Absolutely he, free. he did in fact got veterancy both for vehicles and infantry. And infantry, yeah. Oh, he's gonna need that though. We also see he's another fantastic. There's a lot of brutes on the front line. Yeah, that was a fantastic typic of overdrop and a uh, Gina, gene buffs, I think. But alas, the evolvers are no longer here. Curtain is now available. Abdo's grouping up. Rage is also ready. Smoke tower is being deployed on the front line. I think the Sirkar may die, and so does Ram. Yes, yeah, maybe a very dead Okada. Yeah, it's on red HP. Catastrophe AA is nothing to laugh at. Yep, Okada goes down. But there's still a lot of Colossi. Yasko could very easily still win this engagement. Another bomb buggy eliminated something in the Yarsko's base. Uh, the other, the second wall factory. That's what it got. I think. I don't know, actually. It just happened. I only caught the explosion. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, anyway, here comes the major engagement. There's the curtain, but it only gets curtain on one, one unit. As it looks oh, like, oh, there's the a desolator deploy. Oh, and forces the retreat from the infantry units of Yarskor. But the, but the Colossi are bulky enough to withstand it, but they're not looking healthy. This. 
desolated to play Mage to save more the game. More forces. Absolutely. Those desolators are really a problem, and he needs to find a quick response to this, or otherwise he will be dead. Oh my! The Pandora happy some on my HP. The foxes oh, are swooping no. in. Oh. Hey, come the f that, that's a dead Pandora hub as well. Oh no. Your score falling apart, the seams there in relation to the technology. And again, that does actually run out of money. Your score now actually is the one with the economic advantage. There are still gems in the field. Abdo is the one who controls them, however. What is the money situation? Uh, Yar score 7.6k versus Abdo 4k. With yeah. Abdo's tech advantage, this could be a massive issue. The longer this That's game will go, Yarsko is closer and closer to being defeated. Both the war rigs pack up and some of that. Oh, no. Yep, okay. They, they had a slight lag, I saw. Bertinos are currently laying siege to the outer defenses. Shots come in, pick up more things. I think that's a bioreactor. Here come more Dybbuk evolvers. That was They didn't worth pick it. up any important units. Now uh, the Desolators are still alive. They only lost the cold scripts in that. That's expendable. This game looks increasingly dire for Yarscore. I do hear a driller on the move to Yarscore's base, however. I do I don't it too. Since the vultures back, but Sorry, to Abdo's base. And yeah. No, that's a war rig. Oh, yeah, no, they're the war rigs. But uh, Morales is on scene, so is a Desolator. And a Jakuv. They can actually kill this, I think. They could, but there's an engineer. Oh, the engineer. Scene. Yeah. Quick response from Abdo. Very quick, very nicely saved. Abdo, yeah, Abdo is building a new silo. He is no longer asking. In fact, it's gone down. Some, yep, it's gone down next to the curtain. Abdo is not playing around. Now Yarskur is in the timer, and it's a very dangerous timer. Indeed, it is in fact a nuclear device. Time is running out. It doesn't have a lot of time left to begin with. Not look good for your I reckon Abdo's gonna equalize. An attempt of attempt of rebuilding tier free access is on the way. Yeah, Gene Pug on the way. Okay, there we go, there it is. But uh money's run out for Yarscore. There's no way he can get control of the gems, which are slowly being mined down. He's using the war rigs as mobile tire as budget tyrants essentially. A couple of stalkers get picked up for free though by the Jakuv. Abdo's gonna wanna run that straight back to the field bureau. It will be a funky addition to his forces, although I think Bertinos are perfectly fine. Yeah, Bertinos are perfectly fine, but it's still worthwhile. He actually managed to depower Yarskor. Oh yeah, he can see everything that Yarskor's got now. It's a group of Jaguars coming from the bottom section of Yarskor's base. Possibly trying to pick up the tier 3, he's forcing the movement on Fiasco's forces around this entire base. Got a couple of Jaguars so that are trying to group up, probably for the cut. Bertinos managed to eliminate the War Factory out of the play. Nice, Jaguars getting picked up on the left though, but the main army moves in. All yeah, of the yeah, forces so on the front line have now just been but, eliminated. Oh, Attack the attack. Rad attack. The rad attack eliminates some of the infantry forces. Yarskor uses his only rage. I think this will be the last one he's going to use here to try to save There's the game. There's the curtain. Line cuts three units, and that's enough to force the retreat this time. Oh, this has gone badly, badly wrong for Yarskor here. At one point, he looked quite dominant and poised to win the game, but it's all come crumbling down. Well, 
Oh, there's the mass desolator deploy. A lot of the infantry just melt. Ran is almost dead. Yeah. Is Ran right at radiation? No, he's not. No, he's not. As you can see. Into a pile of radioactive. And, and Yarsko surrenders the, the game. Yep, the comeback is real. The score is now 3 all.